Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Disney Store unboxing. Today I have the new for the holiday 2022 season, the Disney Princess Ariel gift set. Now, if you are not an avid Disney doll collector, you will not realize how amazing the set is. One, because we get Vanessa. Vanessa, AKA the human form of Ursula, has only been made one time before. And she is awesome. She's actually slightly different than the previous version. And we're gonna do a compare and contrast because I have the original version. I just don't have the original outfit, which did pretty much stay the same, but they did add a cloak. Um, and this sort of like, looks like, like microfiber velvet. But the other thing that's new is this silver finale dress that we do not get very often. As far as I'm aware, it was only made one time for one of the singing dolls. And I'm pretty sure she was a 16 inch singing doll. So I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're actually getting that dress in a 11 inch doll. Now, additionally, we're getting Max, Eric's dog, which is kind of awesome because I'm pretty sure this is the exact same mold that they used for the platinum wedding set that he came in. So I never thought I'd get my hands on a Max. I thought I would have to do with like a plush. But we also get Flounder, we get Scuttle, and we get Sebastian. So, I mean, they really pulled out all the stops for the set. The only character that's kind of coveted that we didn't get in this set at this point is King Triton. Now, I would have loved to have seen them do a new King Triton doll maybe with like a removable tail instead, so he's the same height as the other boy dolls, because he's only got like a torso and then a fabric and stuff filled uh, fin. But other than that, this is awesome. So we're gonna take a look at this set. It does retail right now for $99.99, so $100. At the Disney store, that's in US dollars. It is gonna be more expensive abroad. I'm not sure if this has actually made it to the UK Disney store yet, but for now here in the US, this one is available. I actually got it when it was back ordered and it shipped like, like, I don't know, like four days later or something like that. So Disney Store has anticipated how popular the set is going to be. There are two other ones that got released at the same time. One is a Frozen 2 gift set, which is basically the two um, Anna and Elsa play sets put together. Which isn't bad, but it's still $100 compared to the other two, which were like 30 each. So I'm not sure really what they're adding there. And then the... Uh, the Aladdin gift set, which is all right. It's got Genie, which is kind of one of the coveted dolls at this point, but I already have a Genie, and they didn't change anything else, except, except they actually made her purple dress less screen accurate than they have in the past. So usually the gift sets are really screen accurate. So Let's take a look. There's not really much to the box. It does have the like Little Mermaid castle here in the background. But other than that, it's just kind of got the basic aerial, kind of like uh, monotoned, uh, what's the word? Like collage almost. But it does have some pretty easy to open flaps back here. So we just pop those open and we can lift our lid up. It does have a little handle, which is nice. But we are going to 
figure out why this is not coming straight out, which is unfortunate. It's got an issue in the middle here. You guys can't see that. It's the handle that's stopping this top part from coming up. But let me see, maybe it opens from the top. And I'm just being silly. So it does open from the top, but it won't let me take those out until I bend it through like that. And I have to remove the handle, which just has these little flaps that you have to bend down. I was wondering why that wouldn't come out. Anyway, let's take these all up, remove the big box, and we're going to spin. So here they are outside of the plastic. As you can see, everybody looks good. This Ursula is actually a combination of different Ursula dolls, which I'll show you guys here in just a minute because I do have the last time Ursula was released as a single doll, which I believe was like, it's like 2011 maybe, or 2012. And that's this doll. So as you can see, it's the same upper body mold, but it is a really different lower body. This is more the same as the singing Ursula, which I also have, but I didn't want to get her off the shelf. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in these uh, tentacles. But they look awesome. And now I'm gonna show y'all the difference between the original Disney Store Vanessa and the new one. As you can see, the new one is basically a recolor of Ariel, which she is in the movie compared to this one, which has a more like like corpse-like kind of violet undertoned skin, which is great. And her shell is much shorter than the shell, which hits right about the middle. So you win some, you lose some. But this doll is on a, a wedding Ariel doll that they did in Violet, but I thought it worked better for her. And I threw an Aurora crown on there for her. She needs a veil, but one thing at a time, right? So, here we have our dolls. So there's four dolls in this set. Three of them are actual dolls. One of them is what I'd call a special figure. Not to mention, you get four animal friends. So... It's not bad. You do get two extra outfits for Ariel, which is great. Like I said, these two outfits have been done to death. Um, they were in the Kiss the Girl doll set, which had the boat. Um, the mermaid is, I believe, the current classic doll. And yeah. While it's nice to have duplicates of these, the star of this out, the star of this set for her is gonna be that finale outfit. So let's see what we can do. I gotta move some stuff out of the way first before I can get to these. Now Disney Store on their new classic dolls has done a very good job at uh, um, at getting rid of the plastic packaging. But for the big gift sets and the like play sets, they still use the plastic packaging, which I don't love that they still use it, but I understand it. So most easily accessed is Max. Here he is. He's about he's about four and a half or five inches tall. Uh, no, maybe three and a half. Yeah, three and a half probably. 
Because one, two, yeah, three and a half. So he's a good scale for the dolls, which I love because we don't get Max very often in figure form. We do get him kind of often in, um, like, ornaments and things. I feel like we get them a lot as ornaments, which is kind of surprising, but also not really that surprising. All right. Try to... Try to get this one out without doing too much damage. We've got a couple of staples back here on the heads, so I'm just gonna take those all off at once. So, of course, we're gonna take Ariel out first. She looks great. There's a hidden staple down here on her fin. There's actually two of them, one on each fin. Here she is. She is your classic Disney store Ariel right now. She looks good. Um, there's nothing much to her outfit. It is intended to be pretty screen accurate. She's got great hair. A decent face mold. I don't really complain too much about Disney Store face molds. I usually think they're pretty accurate, except for Aurora and Philip, for some reason, have really weird face molds that don't actually look like the characters in the movie. But that's a art style thing. But she looks really cute. We do get a... Um, I just realized this piece is free-floating in there. We do get a couple of, like, hair flowers for her, which is all right. These are pretty close, if not identical, to the ones that we got with our... Uh, with our singing Isabella hair... or with our hair play Isabella doll. So they like to include these for like hair play. I don't do anything with these because nine times out of 10, they're not screen accurate. There's sometimes like with them, um, like with Rapunzel when they do her braid, that it's really cute to have those. Or, um, or Isabella when the flowers in her hair. But most of the time they don't include the right kind of flower. This is kind of close to the flower that Ariel wears a little bit in the movie. But it's like one scene she's got that in. So it's kind of a weird thing to include. But she looks good. She does have legs underneath. They're the uh, pretty standard like pop legs right now for Disney Store. So we've got this. She's got a lot of glitter from her outfit going on right now. Which I don't love, but like I get it but I wish they would use like a sequined fabric and not just straight up glitter that's glued on top because as you can see, now she has a lot of glitter on her chest. So, moving on to Eric. We're going to take his hand out. That one. Sorry, my big nippers are not as uh, not as sharp as some of my other ones. Now I don't need another Eric. I have him in his outfits. I wish they would include um, his wedding outfit that he wears um, on the boat. But boy dolls do not get the love they deserve 
from the Disney store, just nine times out of 10, which is fine, it happens, it's a boy doll. Uh, but his outfit is all one piece, so you can snatch it in a little bit more with the, uh, with the Velcro. His boots are nice. He has the same kind of pop knees, which aren't great, but they're not bad. Uh, the character mold is really good for his face. He's got the lateral neck articulation, but not the horizontal. Or he's got the horizontal articulation, but not the lateral. But he looks good. We see this outfit on him nine times out of ten when they make a when they make a an Eric doll, unless it's for a wedding set. When they put him in his white jacket and blue pants. So he looks good. But other than including Max. I don't really, I don't really need him at the moment. Oh, I am a little excited to get this Vanessa doll unboxed, but I'm actually going to take our other outfits out, which I think I'm going to use my smaller nippers for. Try and get them out. Just like this. It's all about trying to not get more holes in the in the cute outfits. So we've got that, and there's actually one that's hidden under there. Okay, so we've got our pink outfit. It's very cute. It's not nearly as fluffy as it should be, but that's kind of par for the course with Ariel. It's a good construction, but... Again, not the dress we're excited for. Which I'm going to try to get out now. Okay. There's one. Right. So here is our finale dress. This is the dress that Ariel makes, or that King Triton makes for Ariel after he gives her legs and the ability to go on land to marry Eric. It is a great dress. I'm going to show you all what it looks like on because if you've seen any of the Ariels and pink dresses, you know that sometimes they look way different on the doll. As you can see, it's a little tight. We're gonna get it up, though. See, it's not my fault. It's just, she's very hippie. And this dress was cut in a straight fit. So we're going to, I wish they would have made this in a more stretchy fabric, I guess. Okay. There we go. So, here she goes, right there. It's in like a holographic fabric, so it's not bad. She looks really cute in it. Now, 
she doesn't have any shoes that go with it, and that's on purpose, because when she comes out of the ocean, she's barefoot. And I think this is a great Ariel doll. I wish they would do this outfit more often. They won't do it because they want to be able to sell gift sets like these to collectors like me that want official outfits for all the scenes in the movies. But it's okay. Um, so we're going to set her down. And let's take a look at some of the other things that we get in here. So, of course, for a pink dress, we get a pair of pink shoes. Just the basic Disney doll shoes. These are great to have. I think I don't have... I don't know if I have matching shoes for a Cinderella pink dress. So I might be able to use that. Or for a for a pink Sleeping Beauty dress also would probably work. And we also get this pink bow. I don't remember her having uh, a bow in her hair when she did this outfit. I'm pretty sure she was wearing the pearls that go back in her hair, that hold her hair back, the pearl barrettes. But Alas, this is what we get sometimes. Screen inaccurate. Okay, and here is Scuttle. Scuttle looks a little bit horrifying. I don't know why. But he's just a little terrifying. A little bit too much realism, I think, on the feathers. And then his eyes give off a very dead quality. Plus he needs to be about... Mm, about 50% bigger to really be the appropriate scale. But I'm not complaining on it because he doesn't get a... Uh, he doesn't get to be included in these things a whole lot. I would have loved to have seen like a Dinglehopper included. That would have been kind of fun. And then of course we're going to get... Sebastian and Flounder out. Right. right here. And I did nip him a little bit. I didn't actually cut him, but I just cut off a little bit of the paint right there. But that's okay. We can cheat him to the back. And I can just repaint this in the uh, maroon. So Sebastian's not a bad size. He's actually a little bit over large, but they do that to make him more of a uh, more of a character, really. And now let's see about this flounder. So here's flounder. He's a good size. He's got a cute little painted face where he's looking up at Ariel. Uh, He's apparently a two-part mold. Uh, he's actually not squishy, which is nice. A lot of the times when they give a flounder, they make him a squirt toy. So that's nice. Um, so that covers our good guys. So I'm going to move some of this off, including Ariel and Eric and Max. So we can take a look at our next ones. Now, for this, I know I'm probably not the only one who was kind of, in, who was kind of tempted to order like three or four of these sets just for the custom uh, Vanessa dolls that we could make. But I did only order the one. Oh, she's got part of her skirt held on at the back. Which I don't love. But it's fine. We're actually going to take this off of her. Which is held on not with the clasp. No, but there's a staple under there. 
Okay. Okay. So, she's the only one that got any stuffing under her dress, which is good. Um, so the dress is actually large enough for like a crinoline. Her dress is actually a little crooked, so I'm gonna fix that. Uh, she did have a staple on the back of her head, but I cut it when I cut aerials. And now, as you can see, she is going to have a very long shell. Her hair is pretty nice. It's the same quality as Ariel's. But if you can see, they're actually different face molds, which I don't think I was anticipating. They used an old Ariel face mold for her compared to the new one that this Ariel got. Um, I'd probably be able to tell you the date if I looked at their hair. Oh, no, they don't put the dates on these, I forget. But she looks good. She does have her dress a little askew. Uh, we're gonna fix that right now. Yep. We've got her shell that she keeps her stolen voice in, a pair of very cute lilac shoes. And then she has got her cloak. Now, I'm probably not gonna keep her cloak on her because her cloak is made of a material that will stain your dolls. It'll stain the plastic. So it's not always the best thing to keep those on them. But she looks great. Like, I'm excited to have her. But here, let me show you all the exact differences between sorry about that so as you can see there's a big face difference in the skin tone not so much in the actual face print the face print is almost identical like the screening she's got a little bit of a pinker lip in the original but look at the difference in that shell length so I may have to shorten this shell necklace, which you can do really easily. It's just on a rope. You can just untie it and cut off part of it. Um, but it's really interesting that they would give her such a long necklace. And I think a lot of that was to make sure it was visible outside of the cloak, which I'm okay with that. She does not have the, the actual like hinged knees like the original does. So she's going to be more in line with the modern dolls. But let's get her cloak out of there. She's got a couple more staples that are sticking this thing to her. Okay, so it's very pretty. It does have a full head, and it's actually got a kind of legit clasp, which is fun. So, I mean, she does wear a cloak in the film, which is good, but again, like I said, I've already seen people pull theirs out and it's already been stained, so I'm not gonna leave this on her. Now, we've got our last member of the pack, and that is our villain du jour, Miss Ursula, for those poor unfortunate souls. And she is voiced by the incomparable Pat Carroll. And based on the uh, on the drag queen divine for your little mermaid fun fact but I feel like most people know that she's got some 
she had some of those that were hidden in her tentacles. So we're going to take a look at her now that we've got her out. As you can see, she does kind of just slouch. She doesn't love to stand up on her own. Now our, our, our singing doll that has the same kind of legs as her is in that same boat where she doesn't really stand up on her own. You do kind of have to cheat her around and either put an elastic or just kind of stand her up like that, like forcibly, instead of setting her down. And even then, sometimes she's still gonna flop. But she looks good. And this is actually on a, like her actual body stops right there. So, and then her top is held on with this elastic, which is not absolutely necessary, I don't think, but is still a fun little addition. And again, let me show you compared to this doll that we have. She's done in purple. This one is done in black. So it's actually more screen accurate on this one, which is good. But it's also a little bit less stable. I kind of would have preferred if they could figure out how to do these leg, these tentacles, but then additionally put on some extras and actually give her eight would be nice because she's supposed to be an octopus and she only has six. She's a sextopus. But she looks great. So here are a little bit of a closing remarks on this one. So I do love these dolls. I am really happy that they gave us Vanessa again. I'm really happy they gave us a finale aerial dress. And there are so many things to be excited about for the set. Which, honestly, there's a lot to love about The Little Mermaid. I do wish some of the other Disney films got some love occasionally. It does seem to be Disney Store really loves to do Aladdin. They really love to do Beauty and the Beast. And they really love to do Little Mermaid stuff. But I, for one, would have loved to have seen more Hercules doll merch. Especially now that Meg is part of the classic doll line. I would have loved to have seen a classic doll for Hercules. Especially since they did him for the limited edition D23 doll. But... Our dolls in this set look great. It does come out a little bit pricier because you're buying the deluxe set. The classic dolls right now are set at 20 before any promotions. And so you are paying 25 for each of these dolls, not including the other animals or the extra outfits. So... It's a decently good deal. It's a great deal for her because I have seen the original version of her sell for like $200. I got mine in a bulk lot, thankfully. Um, but she was missing a hand that I had to replace. It was a whole big deal. She still doesn't have her outfit. So she looks great. I'm here for it. I will probably shorten her necklace just to make sure I get more of that right there at the breastbone kind of vibe for her, like it is here on Ursula. Which I find kind of funny because Ursula, after she transforms back, doesn't have the shell necklace anymore. But they all look good, and I am looking forward to see what they do for next year's sets. Now, they are going to probably do some of the live-action Little Mermaid dolls. I don't know if Disney Store is going to do them. 
they've kind of said they're discontinuing the film collection dolls, which is a pity because they were always great. Even though they were a little pricier, they were more of a collector item. But I think with, like, the Marvel and the uh, Star Wars collector dolls that they've done, like the special edition dolls, they might change the movie dolls to just special edition dolls. I don't know. We'll see. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, y'all. Be good. Bye.